we've heard a lot about the importance of food at this conference, Connor. Uh, why are people talking about it so much? Well, I mean, climate change obviously uh, has a huge impact on food and food production. You know, it's the climate, and agriculture relies on an ambient climate in order, um, well, in order to occur. Um, so what we're seeing with climate change is both uh, long-term, sort of slow-onset climatic change, so temperature rises overall, and um, changes in rainfall patterns that affects farmers in terms of when they sow, what kind of crops they can sow, but we're also seeing extreme, um, extreme weather events and an increase in both the frequency and severity of those. Um, things like extreme weather events mean you know your crops can be wiped out in a matter of minutes or days. So both long-term changes in the climate and increases in severity and frequency of, of extreme weather are having a huge impact on food supply and people's ability to grow or buy enough food to eat. And is Oxfam seeing this on the ground now? Is it already happening? Yeah, it's definitely happening right across the world, not least in Africa, which, as we know, is going to be one of the continents most um, first and worst affected by the change in climate. For example, we were speaking last year with a woman called Lekia Borena in the Oromea region of Ethiopia, and she was talking, her family have farmed that region for generations, and she was talking to, about um, the fact that, you know, rain patterns had changed really significantly, and that meant that they couldn't grow the crops that they used to grow, so they were having to, to try experimenting with different things, they were having to change the sort of fundamental staples of their diet and you know she explained to me which was really um, stark the fact that you know she didn't go to school but they'd had great development in the area you know across a couple of decades so her, her kids went to school and there was better health care better educational facilities because of the change in climate and the impact that's having on their ability as farmers to, to grow and produce food she's worried that her grandchildren won't be able to go to school so we're actually seeing a reverse in development in that area due to the effects of the change in climate and what's the link with these talks here? How are they trying to, to address this problem? Well, I mean, th an obvious one is, is the Green Climate Fund. If we can get that going, if we can get it going with 50% for adaptation and for mitigation, and in a way that responds directly to the needs of developing countries identified by them, then that will be responding to the needs of people like Lekia and small-scale farmers and producers right around the world who are being affected now by climate change. So I think the Green Climate Fund is critical in, you know, the ability to respond to the impacts that those kinds of people are facing. And Oxfam's obviously been working a lot on this recently. For people who want to get involved at home, can you just tell us a little bit about your Grow campaign? Yeah, definitely. Grow, the Grow campaign is, is all about the fact that, um, you know, currently there are um, seven billion people on the planet. One in seven of those people is hungry, even though we produce more than enough food to feed everybody. Fast forward by 20, 30 years, there's going to be another 2 billion people. We're going to need 70% more food to feed those people. And we're reaching the resource constraints of our planet, not least water, at the same time as we're facing you know, rapid climate change. That's a massive challenge. We also see that there are excellent opportunities for how we can respond to those challenges and build a sustainable future where everybody has enough to eat. And that's great. Thanks very much for speaking to us, Connor.